Well, hello there, this is Diamond from Diamond Shine Soap and the Millionaire Candle Making Group. I'm so excited to see you guys today. Today, before we get into this lovely video that we're going to do, I just want to loosen you guys up. <laughs> you guys already know it's been a long time, so go ahead and get up out your seat before you do anything, okay? Yes! Hey! All right. <laughs> Now, guys, it's been a long time since we've done anything on this channel. <laughs> I know you guys have been missing my videos. I know you guys have been missing my tutorials, but we have been going so hard with the classes, guys. If you do not know about it, if this is your first time watching me, go ahead and hit that like button. And while you down there, just go on ahead and subscribe. Now, you know you ain't got nothing else better to do but to watch my videos. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. All right. So listen, guys. <laughs> um, We've been just going really hard with the classes. We've been doing one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, um, wig trainings. Uh, we got... Silicone mode class coming up uh, tomorrow. We got a um, candle making class, uh, basics coming up on Monday. And then we got the, listen to this y'all, dessert wax melt ah, class <laughs> that is coming up to um, Saturday. Okay, so we just been going hard with classes for the per past couple months. And now we about to go ahead and take a chill pill on some of these classes and let you guys enjoy the replays as you always have. So guys, if you do not know, we have replays that you can watch 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days of the year. If you go down in the description box, you will see some links. It will lead you to a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. It will lead you to the replay. It will lead you to all types of classes so go ahead on over to diamond shine soap or diamondshinesoaps.com check out our live classes our pre-recorded classes our um cheat sheets skip the line you name it we got it all there <laughs> all right so today we're going to be doing something really cool guys we know that christmas is coming up and because christmas is coming up now is the time to start pulling out your holiday creations so now it's time for us to start getting into those holiday candles you know not making too much you know i don't do too much christmas because once christmas is over you are pretty much stuck with those candles and i do not keep candles for one year okay so i have like a little mini confession i made some halloween candles guys and guess what happened to those candles can you can you can i tell you i had to mark them down on clearance because i made way too many so we <laughs> will not be going crazy for christmas so if you're making a christmas line just make sure you know and you kind of got it figured out how many candles you're going to be using on that line and when they run out then make some but don't just pre-make a thousand Christmas candles and then you stuck with all of the Feliz Navidad's, okay? All right, so that's just a word of advice from me and you, okay, over here in these streets. All right, so now, ah, now listen, guys, we're gonna be making some donut wax melts on the channel, but I do wanna remind you guys, um, I do have a pre-recorded video where we did a Zoom. This was one of the best Zooms that I ever did. I had about 50 people or more show up to the Zoom. We went over every type of wax. We went over coconut wax. We went over um, soy tart wax, pear soy tart wax, paraffin tart wax. I gave you guys the maximum uh, usage for a throw. I mean, it's called Break the Rules. If you go and you search the internet, you pull up Break the, Ru Break the Rules Wax Melts. My university class is going to come up in Google because that is the most highly sought after class. Don't nobody in the industry got a better class than that. That class is off the chain, okay? And I'm not just hyping myself up, but if you come over to the Millionaire's Middle Candle Making Club, they will tell you that that class is turnt for the turn, okay? That class is turnt up. We had a good time. So we went over, I mean, seriously, Last week, I actually used, um, it was probably about two weeks ago, I used that class. I went back and rewinded it, and I was like, man, this class was really good because I went and did my paraffin wax melts because I started using paraffin instead of parasoy, um, and I was I, I like it because it's a little bit stronger, so I was like, okay, so, you know, it was the highest. I mean, seriously, it had I had wonderful melts, and then for the coconut wax, um, 
I mean, I love coconut wax, but I do not use the recommended, you know, what they tell me. What I did was I tested it. Everybody tested it. Um, and we all just went for the highest percentage. I give you guys that in the class. Um, tell you guys when to melt it, um, what, you know, how much fragrance to add. I mean, seriously, I just went through every different wax. And so if you buy that class, you're not just getting something for coconut. You're not just getting something for soy. You're getting something for all of the waxes. I mean, TW30, ProBlend 650, 494. Um, what is the next one? Uh, 4826, you name it. We go over all the waxes. Okay, so enough of that. We're going to be doing some um, wax melt, guys. Now, listen, we are having a dessert candle wax melt class on Saturday. If you want to be a part of it, you know, do sign up. It's very inexpensive, under $20. So, you know, you guys get in there. We're going to have a good time. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to do some wax melts. Um, I'm not going to take you guys through the whole process of making a wax melt. But if you need the whole process, it is in the description box. We're going to go ahead and we're going to have a good time, guys. It's going to be a good day. Hey, it's gonna be a good day. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so first thing first is I'm gonna go ahead and lay out some parchment paper. Now, I normally get parchment paper from Dollar Tree, but I went to Whole Foods on this one. And I kind of like this a little better because the roll is a lot bigger. And I don't have to have it like rolling back up. And that's what the one from Dollar Tree do because it's so small, okay? So here is a stack of my wax melts, guys. Now, if you need to know how to color these, the proper color, do come along and join us in the dessert candle wax melt class, which is coming up this weekend. And it's coming up on Saturday. And if you're watching this and it's past that particular class, I will have the recording in the description box for you guys to um, watch, okay? Okay, so you're going to need something really small because you're going to have to separate your wax sprinkles. So I have like a few of these little containers. I got them off of Amazon, but you pretty much can use anything. Anything that you don't use in your kitchen is up for grabs, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and since I'm going to be using this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump a little bit of this one out in here. Okay, and then I'm gonna be using maybe the other two. I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, dump these ones out into this container. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of these. I know for sure I'm gonna be using these. So. Okay, so I'm gonna dump those. And I have another container I'm gonna dump the other ones into. But I think I'm just gonna work with these two just for now, and then we're gonna come and use the other ones if needed, okay? All right, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna heat up a little bit of my wax. I'm gonna melt it down, give it some scent, and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stir my fragrance into here. And when you put the fragrance in, usually the temperature drops. Um, if you actually need the temperatures and everything like that, you're gonna have to go ahead and get in the class and you have the temperatures that you need to um, ensure that your wax melts do not melt, just to make sure they smell strong and so on and so forth. So I'm just giving this a nice little stir and I'm using my little spatula and I got this spatula from Dollar Tree, if you guys are wondering, okay, because I am one of them kind of people that like to do it, but I don't like to spend too much money trying to get to it, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take my temperature really, really, really quick. And my temperature is dropping really low, really fast. I already have my fragrance in. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, because it's thickening up and it's dropping really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and start the process. Okay, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is, like I showed you guys before, just put a little bit of sprinkles inside of here. Make sure your wax is nice and melted down. Okay, and so 
Um, when I use these metal bowls, my wax usually melt down pretty quick. Uh, oh no. Okay guys, so make sure you use a nice metal bowl because you can easily take this and put this on and off the heat and you don't have to transfer the wax into like a pouring pitcher or anything like that. So I do suggest you use like these little metal bowls. They're very convenient. Um, you can find them at Walmart. Um, definitely not at Dollar Tree, but more so at Walmart, okay? All right, so I have my sprinkles, which I kind of dumped into this little cup, okay? And so my wax is, has, is highly fragranced. So I'm just kind of giving it a stir. And the one thing I can say about these bowls is the temperature drops pretty quick inside these bowls. Like seriously, you could be looking at it and it's nice and liquid and clear. And then the next minute it's cloudy and <laughs> just about to be in this phase where you can't do nothing with it because it's solidified, okay? All right, so you want it to be nice and thick like that. I like it this way. It works better for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple of these donuts and we're gonna go ahead and begin to glaze our nice, beautiful donuts. Now, just a reminder, um, if you are doing this project along with me, you cannot like make these individual uh, donuts, like you can't package them individually and think that the sprinkles are gonna stay because they will fall off. So my suggestion is, you use the inside of a candle, like a dessert candle, and it's just, you know, positioned inside that candle as like a donut, okay? All right, cool. You know, if you find a way to get them to stick on there and you sell them that way, do tell us your secret, because I just don't like, you know, for the sprinkles to fall off, so that's why I don't suggest it to be just some wax melts that you sell individually inside of a bag bouncing around, crashing into each other, and so on and so forth. All right, so this is nice and thick. What you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna go ahead and pick you up a donut, okay? And then you're gonna take that donut and you're gonna just dip it into this wax, okay? You're gonna go ahead and dip it. I'm gonna dip mine twice, one, two. Actually, I'm gonna do it three times just to make sure it's nice and thick. You're gonna lay it out and then you're gonna move really quick because what happens is it can go from um, liquid to solid pretty quick and you don't want to miss that moment because once you do it's over <laughs> you can't get that moment back it's too thick for you to do anything with it okay so this is perfect so i'm going to take this and just kind of push it out the way okay push it to the side and these are nice and stuck you know they are stuck to here but like i said once they get involved with other melts it may not stick okay all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. So we're gonna do one, two, three, okay. And then we're just gonna kind of carefully sprinkle these all around, okay. And if you find it to get to a point where they are not sticking or you know they look like you didn't get them to stick, just go ahead and take your heat gun and just kind of give it a wave. And that should just kind of get them stuck in their place or whatever. Not too much heat, but just a little bit just to get it stuck in this, you know, in this place, okay? So I have these nice, beautiful gloves on, and I could just kind of take the, the wax and just push it off of these gloves. That's why I kind of like them. And I'm going to push this off of here, and then I'm going to just take me like a little paper towel, wipe them down, okay? And I can throw these gloves into the washing machine, <laughs> So that's what, I, that's what I like about them, you know, because I found myself like using plastic gloves for stuff like this. And it's just a waste to just keep throwing the plastic out, throwing them out, wasting, 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 you know. All right. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to let this sit for a little bit, let it harden. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go ahead and take them and I'm going to put them inside of some candles that I'm making. Um, guys, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I just want to show you guys uh, some of the ones that I have already made. This is my little frozen one. And I like this because it got the cream on the side. You can see. So it looks like a um, real glazed donut. I like that. And I have another one. And this one looks really like very realistic. You see the two shades. You got the 
um, shade of the donut right here. And then you got the glaze on top. So they really look like glazed donuts. So I like this. I really like this. So we got about four of them and they are different, pretty different. We got a chocolate, we got a frozen one, then we got a confetti and we did the same one. Um, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and talk to me in the comment section if you any, have any questions. Um, feel free to hit that like and that subscribe and I will see you again for the next video.